technical support video will help and show you how to properly print on rolls of media while using multi-rim. To begin with, you'll want to have your graphic open in whatever graphic software program you have. Once you have it set and ready to print, go File and go down to Print. Once you go to print, sometimes if your page size is not set to the proper size already, you'll have an error message pop up. Just go ahead and click proceed. We'll take care of that a little bit later. Next thing you want to do is you want to select what printer you want to print to. In this case, we're going to go ahead and choose the Multi-Rip Stylish Pro 4800. Once we have that, we'll click on the properties. From the properties page, we want to go to the paper quality tab and underneath tray selection, we'll want to choose roll paper auto cut. This will automatically cut the paper to the right size based on what you set for your paper size. Then come down to the advanced button in the bottom right corner and click on it. This will give you all of the rip settings. The first thing you'll want to do for the when printing on the rolls is set your roll, uh, your paper size. In the drop down box, you'll notice that there are all of these different settings that you have available for you but you'll want to choose Postscript Custom Page Size when printing on the rolls. When you choose that, a new window will come open and you'll have your choice between putting in your width and your height fields and then you'll also want to select your paper feed directions. Since we're using the Epson Stylish Pro 4800, the maximum width you can print on is 17 inches and that's the size that most of the media comes in. We'll go ahead and set our height as well to 15 inches for this example. The final thing that you'll need to set is your paper feed direction when printing on the rolls. You have your choice between short edge first and long edge first. The way you tell which one you use is you actually look up the numbers up at the top. If the number in the width field is larger than the number in the height field, you will want to choose long edge first. If the number in the width field was actually smaller than the number in the height field, you would use short edge first. The quick way to remember this is just to remember if the width number is larger, use long edge, and if the width number is shorter, use short edge. In this case, since the width is larger than the height, we're going to use long edge first. Go ahead and hit OK, and now go ahead and set the rest of your rip settings, for example, the ink type, the media type, and whatever other particular ones you would set to print the application that you're printing.